All right, I am here. I am going. I have mead, but not too much, just enough. I have all the mead I need. Or just a little bit. Uh, let's see. Hey, thank you, Ravicant, for the 25 bits. Uh, dropping by to steal the number one spot for a short time before I have to go get the kids in bed. Oh, have fun with that. Hopefully they just hop right in. I don't know. I've, I've only ever been in charge of, charge of children like once or twice. And I've never... I've never really had to deal with like getting them to bed on a daily basis but babysitting and trying to get kids into bed oh god that was not fun they did not want to go and it's not that i didn't want to well i mean i more or less i'm not going to say i forced the issue but i was just like go to bed and then they wouldn't then they kicked me in the balls so then i made them watch really boring uh, disney movies until it was bedtime it wasn't great Let's see, we do book at night, which is part of it. And yeah, my parents did that for probably far, far longer than I probably should have. But, you know, they'd read a book out loud to me or my brother, and it was fun. Uh, but it was... <laughs> I think we'd do that up until uh, we were in, in high school. But that wasn't like... It wasn't even that weird. It was mostly just like a... Hey, uh, we have... Uh, let's see... We have nothing better to do for the last hour before bed. Might as well just, as a family, read one book out loud. It's kind of nice. Unfortunately, I got really impatient, so I'd always read the book, like, in a day. And then it would take, like, a month for my mother to read it all out loud. And so I'd just be sitting there playing video games, being like, Well, this is kind of dull. Not really her fault, or anything like that, but still. Anyway, uh, let's see. Glad to be here this evening. Did you have a good weekend? I had kind of a boring weekend. My weekends is my week weekends have mostly just been video game related. But you know what? I'm cool with that. It's nice to just be able to play video games for hours on end and just kind of relax. What kind of books? Uh, let's see. Easy, easy answer. Answer I can come up with is like Discworld. Uh, we read through pretty much every Discworld book. Uh, in existence. Uh, throughout. Me being in high school. That was kind of pleasant. It was a nice... It was a nice way to read a whole bunch of Terry Pratchett stuff. Anyway. Uh, let's see. What I want to look at is... Bestiary. Is there a bestiary for this? Oh. Notebook, inventory... Wish list. Okay, so they want 10 patrol golems and 10 mother golems. Do we remember where those spawn? Because they're either... They're either in desert or they're in the tech dungeon. I can never remember which. I want to say they're in the, uh... Hmm. I want to say they're in the desert dungeon. I could be wrong. Let's see, what's on the docket today? Kind of boring. I was just going to do Moonlighter and, uh... I was just going to do Moonlighter and... I think. Uh, Moonlighter and Fire Emblem. Sorry. I'm really trying to remember if there's a beast area anywhere. That I can look at. I don't know. Because that's the tech dungeon. No entry. Wanna say it's this one. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. We're just gonna run through this and probably just sell everything. Uh, we might hold on to some things. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I don't have anything immediately on my, uh, my list. Like, my to-do list. And so I figured it'd actually be a little bit easier for once for me to, uh, well, for once, uh, to mostly just focus on, like, one or two games at a time, at least until things get busy again.
And then once they get busy, then I start cycling between a bunch of games. I don't know. It also mildly depends on what Shell wants. Oh. Maybe I can do the other warp out. And it won't be in the middle of the day. I don't know. Whatever. If we don't if we don't complete that uh that quest, it's only worth 40,000, which is like two items worth. I'm not really going to put a whole lot of bother into those. But while we're here, we might as well do a couple of things. Give me those items. Oh, there's something down here. Hello. Adventure. Adventure in Mead. We spent another eight hours with Dragon Quest builders today, just redesigning different buildings and layouts. I... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to skew those... Those plot dungeons. I don't think they're worth it. We're just going to do what I can. While we're here. Yeah, that fall luck. Interesting. Yeah, I did get really lucky, though. You are absolutely correct on that. I don't actually know how to hurt this guy. He's definitely susceptible to, uh... He's definitely susceptible to getting hit by, like, status effects. That totally ruins them. Uh, let's see. It's gonna grab everything and whatever. Well, that was the dimensional wizard. <laughs> and we got the ghost gloves. And where does this take me? Where am I? What am I doing? I am I am so lost. Okay, uh, let's see. Brought up. Notice the similarities between this game. Ah, we're back in the desert dungeon. Okay. Uh, similarities between this game and Reketeer. Uh, is there any... Oh, this is the... This is the golem that we wanted to fight, actually. Uh, is there a uh, time-sensitive aspect to this game? Nope. What? I made it to land, damn you. Uh, let's see. But no, there's there's no uh, there's no time element to this game, which is actually it kind of sucks, because if this game had a a structure closer to Reketeer, with just uh, like similar structure to Reketeer, but you know dungeon crawling like this, I think it would have actually been perfect. The problem is. There isn't, and the the combat and the adventuring is is kind of more of the the focus, which is both like good and bad. Because on one hand, I really enjoy I really enjoy how it's set up. It's just it's it's very much just an uninteresting loot treadmill. Of you get a all of your weapons are the same. You know the the spear plays the exact same uh, the exact same way to. Uh, Let's see. Uh, let's see. The spear plays the exact same way as the broom that you start the game with. Which, you know, isn't terrible, but it's like, there's very little that actually like changes how you would go about playing this game. You just kind of keep going until you, you've beaten it. And luckily, like, there's enough equipment that you don't really need to worry about it. Let's see, we'll disappear. I'm just gonna sell all my slime. I don't remember if these... Balls, no, these, these balls aren't the ones I'm looking for. Okay. But, what was I gonna say? But yeah, so you spend most of your time just running around, uh, gathering ingredients, which, very similar to Reketeer, the problem is, like, once you've, once you've gathered those ingredients, you just make yourself a slightly better weapon, and keep it for yourself, because getting most things is kind of annoying. And then eventually, uh, eventually, yeah, you're just powerful enough that you can beat the boss of the dungeon, and then you just move on to the next set. 
and then you're good to go. Well, we might we might as well get rid of the ghost gloves one because they're not going to help me at all. I don't think they're worth much either. Hey, thank you, Verisoc, for the 500 bits as always. Uh, agreed. Uh, one second. I should probably kill this guy first. Uh, let's see. Developing relationships in Reketeer and trying to encourage your favorite adventures to buy the stuff I need to equip. Yeah, plus there was the constant need to have more money for rent. Uh, slight story events and so on and so forth. This is one of those that if, if you asked me what the characters' names were, I couldn't tell you. I don't even know... Wait, no. The main character's name is Will. I think. That is, that is all I could tell you about who this character is. His name is Will, and for whatever reason, he had the brilliant idea to, uh, second, oh, if I need any of these. He had the brilliant idea to start, like, raiding this dungeon for, for loot and things to sell, and became ultra wealthy as a result of it, question mark? No, I don't I don't want to do that. A lot of treasure junk here. This isn't really what I'm looking for. Oh, it's a mid boss. Corrupted Hexa. Or like corrupted, it's just dead. Nothing there's nothing I can say about that. It's just dead. Okay, there we go. Hey, thank you, Ouija board, for the 14-month resub. Praying for the wall. I am constantly just amused that everybody really likes that wall uh, portrait. I will probably go through fairly soon and uh, and read you all of my like Twitch emotes to be like just weird faces and stuff. Emotes and like the uh, the subscriber icons because I can and because it would be cute. Eh. Today is going to be weirdly informal. I don't know. My, uh... My... I guess not direct in-laws. Shell's aunt and uncle are visiting from out of town. They're taking a, uh... They're taking a train all the way from New York to Oregon, which is just downright impressive. And, uh... Technically, they're going up to Seattle to visit their son who's living down there, but, uh... I don't know... I don't know what... if any of this stuff is actually valuable. I'm pretty sure most of it isn't, especially by my standards. So I'm just kind of grabbing things. Okay. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so they're, they're coming to visit tomorrow, and so we're gonna... well, we're doing chores and management and boxes. I think Shell's still working on that. I actually have no idea where she went to. I was trying to find her before I started streaming, which probably means she went outside. But it's hot out there, so I didn't go. Um, uh, let's see, but... So we've been doing that, and I've just been kind of like... Oh, wait, hold on. Do we just have another go with the slime dungeon? Might as well. Why not? Oh yeah, I hear it on the phone now. So she's talking to someone. There we go. That that this feels kind of better. Okay. I might as well see what I can grab from the Wanderer dungeon. I'm mainly trying to get more rings and so on and so forth. It looks like this is scaled down to match the desert dungeon, which makes total sense. Just unfortunate because I don't need anything from here. I wish there was a quick sell button. That'd be nice. Okay. Uh, did I get every... Yeah, I got everything. On the plus side, I more or less can just, like, whammy jam everything into next Tuesday and not have to care. Yeah, I don't... I don't think I'm gonna get that side quest done in time, nor do I think I care. Uh, let's see. What is the bag at the bottom? So, the merchant pendant warps you back home. Merchant... Emblem is like a town portal, so you can actually come back. But I think time still passes. It's a bit vague. 
mainly I've just totally forgotten how it, how it works. I am unsure how you're supposed to hurt this thing. Because it straight up will not take damage from any other attacks. Does anybody know? I'm assuming most people watching this have not played this DLC. Probably haven't even... No, 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 no. Probably haven't even played... Moonlighter, which is fair. It's a bit, I'm not gonna say like, it's not that niche. You fire gems. Fire gems are actually worth a fair bit of money. I don't think desert rope is worth much though. But most of this stuff is probably just worth tossing more than anything else. So I should probably pay attention to her patterns a little bit. You know, I don't get a whole lot of opportunities to fight bosses in, like, an extremely easy state. That's just gonna keep bouncing around forever. Okay, so the bags explode. The rocks do damage. Okay, so let's just wipe her out. And we get... This is different. Morningstar. Unfortunately, I don't think we get to keep the, uh, blueprint, which is sad. Oh, the one problem with me doing this is I might not be... Oh, no, no, no. I'm still fighting the mid-bosses. Maybe I'll get this side quest done. Unfortunately, I have to kill like 10 of these suckers, which is rough. Can you tell I'm not super interested in uh, enemy damage? Hold on. Okay, what does this curse do? Uh, let's see. Artifact in the direction shown becomes this one. These guys are worth a lot. So that's actually pretty useful. The rest of these we should, we should just sell. Even if it ends up being chump change. Weird ghosts. Okay, so far so good. I'm also really curious if there's a... Uh, if there are mods for this game, if those ever got worked on. Because this does feel like the kind of game that it would actually be... would benefit greatly from having... Some, like, rebalance mods, and mods that add more weapons than just the, uh, the basic variety. I am unsure. I'm taking a lot of fire damage. Probably shouldn't, but we got those healing pools. So I find myself just accepting the damage regardless. Backpack upgrades! Another thing that I'm actually kind of surprised doesn't exist in this. Okay, what do we got? Breakable stuff. Question, can I just decurse that? No, it's gotta be in my inventory. Eh, they're all right. We'll take these pipes. Okay. I forgot this area does like weird gravitational things. I don't think it's anything more than visual, but still. Okay. I'm surprised there's no bags of holding. This game needed more progression systems, I think. Not like anything particularly egregious, just like, hey, uh, you got some extra carrying capacity. You got, uh, let's see, you run like 10% faster. I guess some of the gear does increase your movement speed. But that's about it. Hey, thank you, Voldemar Kid, for the 100 bits. I was life. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys had a good weekend.
Well, there was a note there, but it fell into the void. And maybe I got it. I don't really know. I should have rolled for it, but I figured I'd be I'd be good to go. Now that's inflammable liquid. It's worth an okay amount. It's worth more than the mag uh magnetite. Yeah, I really am just... Well, I guess I'm not really pinching that many pennies here. A lot of these are worth, like, a decent amount. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Magnetite is worth significantly less. Okay. There's the healing pool I was looking for. Give me your things. Yes. I think we've got five levels of this, too. So we should be good to go. Okay, so I can send something home. Might as well send that home. I got anything else that I... don't need much of. Because we don't need the cloth dye. We don't need the desert steel ingots. Eh, fluid contacts aren't worth that much. While we're here. Might as well sell that. Okay. What about desert stone? Not worth much. Insulating dust? Nah. Okay. And that's that's the door down. So we want to leave that alone for a bit. Let's see. Just finished uh, the ending of uh, the first episode of Oninaki. What a twist. I mean, it wasn't exactly a twist so much as just like... They did straight up like tell us from the very beginning that, that it, that's exactly how it's going to go down. Uh, there were... I'm not going to say tons of hints, but it was it was fairly clear-cut. It's like, by the way, this is going to get really dark. And it's just like, yeah, I mean, it's not going to get that dark. And it's like, no, it's going to get really dark. And lo and behold, it got incredibly dark and surprise. I was expecting it to be like more heartwarming or something. And then it's just like, nope. That's a good game, though. I... I know the uh, uh, the internet's reaction to it was just kind of like meh, but I'm excited. I I like uh, I like JRPGs with weird and interesting plots that you know nobody else you know has or does. Yep, that's nothing. What's the ring do, by the way? Increases the healing value of potions when you're injured. It's okay. Let's see, what game are we talking about? Oninaki. It's the latest game by Tokyo RPG Factory. The uh, the people that made I Am Setsuna and a couple other things. Oh. So this is where the boss normally is. I think, but since I killed the boss... You just have a bunch of gooped up chests. That's cool. Okay, so these are worth a fair bit. Chilled lava is not worth much. I think the rest of this stuff we just want to sell. Uh, let's see. I'm sure I could have done this better, but that's okay. Hi. I think a lot of this stuff I'm straight up just going to chuck in and sell. Not actually, eh, it's making me like 7,000 a pop. That's like 
a potion or three. Oh, I wish this was faster, though. I think this was this was one of my common complaints about, like, quality of life improvements that they never did. Which is a shame, because, like, I feel like this game could be a much smoother experience with just a couple of changes. And they never got changed. I'll, I'll just sell everything kind of slowly. And slowly crawl my way towards three million. I'd probably be better off considering the time investment to have just gone into the slime dungeon. I think that's what we're going to do. And if I can get those two remaining, um... Those two remaining little, uh, quest contacts, awesome. And if I can't, oh well. Such is life. We. Hey, thank you, Hedge Ninja, for the four-month resub. Which is super convinced I need to share your resub. So, uh, as Wander, uh, Wander as always, it's a pleasure to catch your stream and resub. Well, thank you so much. Hope you are having a nice, comfortable, relaxing, probably slightly toasty afternoon. Unless you're in Australia, at which point, I don't know what time of day it is for you. Or the temperature outside, but it's probably still toasty. That seems to be our fate, which sucks. Okay, so let's sort this down. So we've got a bunch of these thermomagnetic engines, which sell for a decent chunk. Let's see, you're East Coast US. Ah, so the sun's probably down for you. Lucky bugger. Okay, so the volcanic stone that I was carrying around is pretty garbage. Same thing with the diamagnetic sand. Fluid contact, I know, sells for a little bit. Fire gems sell for an all right amount. I'm just trying to get rid of these things. We'll just toss the rest in the bargain bin. I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have gotten into the desert dungeon. Those those quests are never worth it. Let's see. I think we're good. I'm gonna drop off the. Uh, the rest of these. Okay, cool. So, technically, I still have time to finish that quest. As she wants 10 patrol golems, but, like, they're so not worth it. Uh, we'll see if we get them in the, uh, slime dungeon. But if we don't, so be it. It's not the end of the world. Oh. I'm gonna check the calendar. Oh, those are... Previous quests for these things. I don't think there's a financial penalty for it, so... It's really hard for me to care. I was I was really hoping this calendar would have more interesting things on it, but it's not. It's just quests, and that's that's about it. 